The champions can put themselves two points clear at the top of the table, ahead of Liverpool and Arsenal's games tomorrow. Sandwiched in between the two legs of the Titanic Champions League tie with Real Madrid, relegation threat Luton Town arrive at the Etihad Stadium with a similar desire for points, but for very different reasons. It's the third time the Blues have faced the newly promoted club this season with wins at Kenilworth Road in both the league and FA Cup. It is, though, the first time City have played a home match against them since April 1999, a third-tier fixture. To say plenty has changed in those 25 years since is surely one of the greatest understatements. And already Haaland's through on goal. We spoke about it. Can he finish? Good save by Kaminsky. Doku follows up. Can he finish? Another block. It's still not away. And it goes in. Haaland hits a volley. It takes a ricochet and spins into the corner of the net. I suspect it will not be a goal for Haaland. It will be an own goal of the uh, unfortunate Hashioka, who has stayed down after getting in the way of it. But it is 1-0 to City. Yeah, we spoke only a few seconds before about how dangerous it might be for Haaland. Luton playing a high line. I think it's De Bruyne who slips the ball in for Haaland. It goes through one-on-one. -on -one. You think, you know, for all your life, it's going to score. It's a good save from Kaminsky. And Doku has a good chance, well blocked. Comes out to Haaland and his volley was... I think it was going towards the corner flag and it come off um, Hashioka's head and unfortunately for him, unfortunately for City, it went in. Well, Hashioka will surely be the man who is credited with the goal. Kanji helps it out wide to De Bruyne, hugging the left-hand touchline, De Bruyne looks up and plays it in the gap for Kovacic, Kovacic in the penalty area, on it goes to Guardiol, Guardiol hits it, Kaminsky makes the save, scored his first City goal with his right foot at the Bernabeu just a few days ago, almost got his second today, Nicky. Yeah, it was like deja vu, nearly twice in a week, yeah, it's a thunderous shot with his right foot. The ball is out wide with Doku, Doku gets to the byline, clips it in, chance for Nunes, oh, he's hit it straight at Kaminsky. Either side of the goalkeeper, it's 2 0, Nicky. Absolutely, fantastic play from Doku. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think there's anyone better in the Premier League from a standing start. And now Diaz, Diaz looks across and plays it to De Bruyne. De Bruyne guides it in. Alvarez, Haaland! Oh, it was on the slide and he put it wide of the goal. It was a lovely ball in from De Bruyne. Meanwhile, on Matthias Nunes, gives City a free kick about 24 metres, 25 metres from goal, but it's a little bit too wide, you fancy, maybe, to have a shot. But uh, it is in shooting range in terms of the distance. De Bruyne guides it in, and it's across the face of the goal from Guardiol. Looked like he had to score to me, but he kind of headed it across the face rather than at the net. Akanji on to De Bruyne, De Bruyne in a shooting position. Plays it to Kovacic and on to Akanji and now to Doku. Doku now. Back to De Bruyne. It's all in and around the penalty area. Shooting position for Diaz. Diaz tries it and it's straight at Kaminsky. Everyone's having a go, but uh, Luton are trying to keep the gaps as small as possible. Tonic goes to Akanji. Akanji on to Lewis. You know, it might just take a long range shot to get City's second goal. Lewis, City trying to be intricate. De Bruyne. On to the Nunes, Nunes across the face of the goal, I think he touched the far post and it goes out for a throw on the far side. Looking for his first City goal, he was always going wide it looked to me, but maybe it just clipped the far post. Doku advances and on to De Bruyne, De Bruyne could save Kaminsky, opened up his body, bent it towards the far corner, Kaminsky made the save. helps it on and then it's Diaz on the edge of the area, Nunes helps it on and then Vardiol to Doku, Doku tries to get beyond Omnia, Dinmer, he does do, pokes it back, Alvarez and now Kovacic but he's forced away and then Diaz hits the shot, oh inches wide, Diaz looking for his first goal of the season, it's his third shot of the day and it was as close as he's come to scoring but it went wide. Diaz on the edge of the area finds Guardiol, wide it goes to Doku, just a little too wide really. On your Dinma comes to meet him, on it goes to Guardiol and then to Kovacic. Kovacic on to Akanji, Akanji into Haaland, Haaland up to Alvarez, Alvarez hits it wide. Another chance, another miss, just will not go in at the moment.
Nunes on to De Bruyne, De Bruyne in the penalty area, on it goes to Lewis, Lewis back to Kovacic, Kovacic sets and puts it wide with a deflection, it's another City corner. Yeah, from where we are, Ali, it looked like the net was going to bulge, didn't it? Ball goes short from Alvarez to Doku, Alvarez to the edge of the area, Kovacic! Oh, what a fabulous goal! Matteo Kovacic has scored an absolute rasping volley. It was a variety on the corner. It was played, it bounced up. It was by no means an easy finish. It was pretty much waist high. But Kovacic belted it on the volley into the roof of the net. Fantastic strike from Kovacic. You can just feel the relief has been lifted in the Etihad. Dinma comes forward, he's taking on Guardiol, Guardiol's strong and wins it off him. And then Onya Dinma gets round him, Onya Dinma into the penalty area, Luton have a chance, and Woodrow's hit the bar! Well, I never... The first time that Luton have genuinely threatened and they've hit the frame of the City net through Corley Woodrow. Picked up by Guardiol, lots of space for Doku. Doku now, in the left wing, gets inside the penalty area, oh, he goes down, penalty kick. Well, he's done that trick all afternoon. He just suddenly goes, a little drop of the shoulder, moves to his left. And he's looking to put City 3-0 up a quarter of an hour to go. Erling Haaland sends Kaminski the wrong way. And in the 76th minute, the points are surely in the bag now for the Blues. City 3, Luton Town nil. Yeah, convincing penalty, wasn't it? Sent Kaminsky the wrong way. Uh, great that Haaland's got his goal. 3-0, the game's dead and buried now. Oscar Bob has come on. And so to Sergio Gomez and City have lost the ball on the edge of their own area. Barkley scores! Really sloppy from the Blues. And Barkley picked it up and slid it beyond Edison. And it's 3-1. Really poor from the Blues there, Nicky. Balls with Edison, he plays it out. There's a slip. I mean, it's a great finish from Barkley. Um, he sort of works it onto his left foot. Doku up against Onya Dinma. Goes outside, goes inside. Still Doku into the corner of the net. He's deserved his goal today, Jeremy Doku. And finally, he's got beyond Onya Dinma and slipped it into the far corner. He's worked so hard. Him against Onya Dinma had seen pivotal throughout the contest. Finally, having won a penalty off on Yadimma earlier, now Doku scores. Yeah, it's a fantastic goal from Doku, he's been a threat all afternoon. Ball gets swept across from Oscar Bob into Guardiol, he plays it into uh, Doku, and he's been in this position many times this afternoon against Only Dimna. He twists and turns, gets it on that right foot, whips it in the far corner, absolutely brilliant goal, and he has been threatening that, and when we talk about Doku, we talk about that in product, but there's certainly some good end product there, and what a fantastic goal. And if there was any doubts whatsoever, it's put them all to bed now. Guardiol scores on the edge of the area with his right foot, thumps it into the roof of the net. The ball was laid inside to him, and he was in a similar position from the position from which he scored against Real Madrid, and he thumped it into the near post area, into the roof of the net, and it's City 5, Luton Town 1. Doku just got into the penalty area, played it back, and Guardiol clobbered it with the right foot. And in the space of a few days, he has now scored not once, but twice for Manchester City. Well, everyone came to this game expecting City to win by a handful. In the end, they did, but it took four second-half goals to break Luton Town's resistance. You'd have thought that the deluge would have started really early. It was an own goal from Hashioka, from City's first attack of the match. Haaland hits a volley that was going wide. It hit Hashioka in the face and span into the back of Kaminsky's goal. There was then lots of chances for the Blues. They couldn't convert any until the 64th minute when Kovacic, about a waist-high volley, thumped it into the roof of the net. Haaland scored from the penalty spot. 3-0, you thought the game was over. Barkley pulled one back after a mistake by Matthias Nunes. That was 3-1. But then Doku made it 4 and Guardiol made it 5. City 5, Luton Town 1.